From the hiring of Chad Holbrook as the new baseball coach at the College of Charleston, to what's up with Coach Earl Grant and the basketball team, to the recent successes of the soccer and volleyball teams, I sit down one-on-one -on -one with Matt Roberts, the College of Charleston Athletics Director for a special edition of Quentin's Post-Ups. And be sure to download the free Quentin's Post-Ups app and your Apple or Google Play stores. Well, Matt, it is so good to see you again. Good to see you too, Quentin. Yes, sir. I saw you last week, Wednesday, when I was walking down George Street. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Board of Trustees week. A lot of, lot of walking back and forth between TD Arena and Randolph Hall. Wow. What is it like to be you these days? Busy. Um, extremely busy, both at home and, and at work. You know, I'm still uh, just in my 10 month here at the college as athletics director. We have a five month old and a three and a half year old at home. Uh, so uh, I'm not struggling for things to do and things to occupy my time. <laughs> and speaking of time, let me go back to October 18th. You tweeted this out. You said this enjoy having Earl Grant and the CFC baseball, basketball team that is, for dinner. Great group of guys ready for this season. Tell me, how is Earl getting ready for this season? Well, they're, they're doing everything they do each and every year. Is they're, they're working hard, they're staying true to who they are, um, they're enjoying the process. Uh, the team is made up of a great group of junior and senior leaders. Reminds me a lot of uh, the basketball team we had at my previous institution, SMU, uh, right when they were getting ready to make their breakthrough into the NCAA tournament. And um, I can't wait to, to watch and see what this group does throughout the year. And speaking of a group, let's take, take you to the Charleston soccer team because they actually said this on your Twitter page. Cougars win their seventh of the year with the 1-0 shadow win over Winthrop. Boy, what was going to your mind when that happened? Well, men's soccer has had a, uh, quite a turnaround, especially in the month of October. Uh, we haven't lost a match in the month. Uh, we've climbed up in the rankings and the CA rankings. And this weekend, uh, we have an opportunity to compete for a regular season championship. So. Um, Coach Lundy and his student athletes have really turned it on at the right time of the year, and I, I look forward to watching them play Saturday night and hopefully well into, into November. And let me turn to the women's basketball volleyball team, that yeah. is. They're actually dominating tonight with a win, and uh, obviously they're doing a tremendous job as well. Yeah. Talk yeah. to me more about that. Well, Jason and his staff, uh, first of all, have done a great job for a long time, whether it be in the Southern Conference or the CAA. and. Uh, they're getting back to, to winning championships or at least being in a position to win a championship. And again, another team that we've had that hasn't lost a match in, uh, in October. We just played three matches in four days here at TD Arena, only lost one game. And that was against the top three teams in our conference. So um, they, they continue to shine both on and off the court. I'm really proud of what they've done this year. Let me turn you to July 20th. Uh, the headline for the Pulse of Corey reads this. College of Charleston hires former Gamecock, Gamecocks baseball coach Chad Holbrook. What else would you add to that headline? Well, we, we, the community gets a great individual and a great family, and somebody that uh, will bring pride back to the, the College of Baseball, uh, the College of Charleston baseball program, but also give back to the community and what he's done with his foundation, uh, the Win Anyway Foundation, that was started with um, his son Reese, yeah. who uh, contracted leukemia when he was just three years old. And, Chad and Jen have uh, been passionate about giving back to the community and particularly uh, children's hospitals and helping the fight against uh, childhood cancer. And, and I think uh, the College of Charleston and the Charleston community will enjoy getting to know them and also uh, helping support them both on the field but in the community and with their initiatives towards uh, ch children's hospitals. Yeah. I just ran into him on the second floor trying to find your office. Yeah. <laughs> Great guys. Good. Always. I'm glad he's here at the at work today. <laughs> At 9 a.m. That's right. That's right. <laughs> well, obviously, it was a ping pong between him and another guy earlier during that particular time. What was it like for you to be the athletic director in the middle of that? Well, it's what we do. I mean, it's athletic directors are hired to make decisions and, and to hire quality staff and coaches. And uh, we had an opportunity to hire a, a coach that, quite frankly, I, I believe should still be coaching in the SEC. And um, we don't get that opportunity at the College of Charleston very often. So. Um, when, when we had that, and our search committee uh, went through the interview process with the candidates that were interested. It did a couple things. One, it validated what I believed is that we have a tremendous program here in, in the College of Charleston baseball program in particular. And it was a coveted position. There was a lot of interest nationally, both from head coaches, assistant coaches, um, professional coaches. And Chad's name was uh, mentioned by many of the, in fact, the two coaches that coached against each other in the College World Series, Florida and LSU both called on his behalf and, and their experience coaching against him and how impressed they always were with his teams. Um, 
and it just seemed to be a great fit. And at the end of the day, Chad wanted to be here. Um, he wanted to be here and wants to be here for a long time. And talk to me about your story with him. Well, Chad and I got to know each other when I was on the baseball team at the University of North Carolina. He was a graduate assistant my freshman year. Um, so as I uh, was at UNC and became a volunteer assistant coach my last two years, um, I got to know him as a coach. We coached together at the Cape Cod League in Harwich um, in, in the summer of 1997. So I've seen um, how he motivates players, how he gets players to, to play hard for him. Um, and I've seen his success and followed his success on the recruiting trail both at the University of North Carolina and at, at South Carolina where he's been to College World Series, several College World Series right. and uh, recruiting classes ranked in the top five. And, and it's just, and then as a head coach, um, had winning seasons for five straight years, went to Super Regionals, went to Regionals, mm -hmm. uh, won the Eastern Division of probably the, the most uh, competitive conference in, in all of college baseball. So he's proven in every facet of his life that he's a winner and that he knows how to get things done, and that's what attracted us to him and, and him to us is that he knows that, that the opportunity to grow a program here and get to Omaha um, is realistic. And so that's our goal, and that's what we're striving to do. That is so good to hear. Well, Matt Roberts, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate this. Thanks, Quentin. Anytime. Hey, thank you. Thanks. Yes, sir.